Okay. All good. Feliciano, congratulations. A straight sets victory for you today. How pleased were you with your performance? Uh, very pleased. I think I played well. Uh, uh, it's very windy today. Conditions are tough for everybody. So, you know, under the circumstances, I think I played a good match. I was consistent. I put a lot of balls in play and yeah, it was a good match overall. Victory makes you happy, but also you've got this record now, 66 consecutive Grand Slam tournaments you've played in. How do you feel about that? It is some achievement for you. Yeah, it's a, it's a great number. No? Looking back and, you know, um, it's it's impressive. And uh, to be honest, I didn't expect to be, to be playing, you know, at this uh, stage of my career, just to be able to compete and, and to be able to challenge the, the best players in the world right now at 36 years old. This is something I didn't expect it and, and, and that's why I'm very proud of. It's a record that you've taken now off Roger Federer because you were level. What is the secret behind the fact that you've managed to achieve that? I don't know. I've been lucky, you know, not to suffer uh, injuries during my career. Uh, I've been very professional also, you know, and uh, I've been taking care of my body a lot during, in the last decade, you know. I realized that I need to be very fit if I want, you know, to compete against these uh, animals out there. <laughs> And uh, yeah, no, I think I somehow I managed to put uh, a few small things together just to to be successful, no, and, and to be and to have this uh, long career. You mentioned you're in good shape. Good win today as well. Next game is going to be a tough one, though. Yeah, I have the elbow in the next round, and it's a, it's a very very nice match to play. Um, Delpo is it's uh, one of the best players in the world. Second round Wimbledon against him. I mean, at this stage of my career, what else I can, you know, expect? What, what else I can, you know? So I, I, I'm really looking forward to that match. And just finally put a smile back on some Spanish sport fans' faces after what happened at the World Cup as well. Yeah, it's, this, this, is, this is soccer. Sometimes, you know, you have a lot of expectations and uh, uh, one of the best, uh, you know, teams. Uh, but the way we we played in the in the group was not the best, and uh, at some point, you know, I, I think the fans, me and everybody in, in Spain, were expecting to be gone because uh, we've been we we haven't played uh, uh, we haven't played good in the group stage, and uh, yeah, it is it is very sad because uh, we, we had a good draw. We have Russia in the round of 16, which is which is okay. And then the winner of uh, Croatia and uh, I don't know what was uh, Denmark. It's not bad either, no? Uh, everybody's tough and you have to beat. Croatia has been playing great, but to play Croatia or Denmark in the quarterfinals is not, it's, it's not a bad draw for a World Cup. But we don't deserve to be in the quarters, man. So well, you deserve to be in the next round. You put a smile back on some Spain sports supporters' faces. So thanks for your time. Okay, guys.